found some of the most disturbing and scary Minecraft hacks of all time. And today, we're gonna build them to see if they're actually cursed. The first scary build today, it's a barricaded window. I've never seen anything like this. Oh, it's like boarded up with signs. This is the type of thing you're gonna put around your house if you're scared for your life. So it's a good way to start the video. Step one, let's build our house out of this bird poop block. And I actually want to use glass. You can actually use glow lotion to make it also look like it's cracked. See, then it looks like the back of it is cracked. Like someone came with like a giant ender pearl and just smacked it on the window. Then you board it up with your windows. And then it would be even cooler if you were to break a few of these. This is a really cool and simple early design. But guys, every hack that we look at today gets even scarier than the last. And if you guys make it to the end of today's video and don't get scared away, I'm going to join the world seed 666 and teleport to the coordinates 666 to see what's there. All right, our next one is super simple. It's just a buried zone zombie like something that's probably gonna haunt us pretty soon when like world war three starts and they figure out how to genetically modify us oh he's actually alive that's even cooler oh nice i'm gonna do kind of similar to what he does i think he just puts water down here oh okay now my concern is when i put this guy down isn't he gonna die like from the sun get in get in Okay. Oh, he puts him out. That's what the water's for. Dude, this is so cool because if you go in survival, he should lock on to me. Dude, okay, he's facing this. He seems to be. So we'll do a little switcheroonie. There we go. Look how cool that is. It's a actual zombie that attacks you. Now you could make this cooler. Like if you're one of those like real bougie people that wants to have like a super fancy gravestone, pop in here and just drop a couple of these. Give him a little cross. Minecraft Jesus. All right. All right. This one is a monster bed. Oh, look at that. That is kind of creepy. This is like a way to elevate every bed you make in Minecraft. We're going to pull out creative mode, dig two blocks down, and put down a daylight sensor here, which is odd because there's no daylight. That... Anyway, then you just cover it up like it was never there. I don't understand how people come up with these. So the dispenser will face into that hole. Got to put an armor stand in there. Here we go. Hey, that was good. I think we got it. I'm pretty sure now it's literally just put the skeleton or the head on whatever you want. So I'm going to go ahead and just browse here. I feel like a player head's going to look a little creepier because like you might think it's an actual person, which is cool because I like the idea of having someone hiding under my bed at all hours of the day. I don't know about you. We'll have it peeking out like this. We don't need this piece anymore. I can cover it and then the bed. Yo, that is absolutely stunning. What a creepy design. Oh, the zombie's actually super creepy too. Anyway, it's a great build here. And as the scary meter improves, guys, we get closer to finding what that final coordinate takes us to. Now, this one is just titled with the beautiful name of Burning Steve. This already is starting off on a fantastic note. You got that netherite flesh looking block there. We're really gonna burn him alive. Wow. So there's a lot of intricate steps here. Let's take a look at what the final result is. Oh! nice it's like a little execution and it should be a pretty simple design i do feel the blackstone makes it look a little bit cooler than what he has there oh there you go that's how you halfway push it and then i guess you can put the fence right behind it this is more interesting than i had originally intended so you actually have to put the fence directly above it and then you push it down there we go and i'm assuming the rest of it's pretty straightforward you know what's interesting about this is ours actually faces the wrong way. But the cool thing about that is we accidentally turned him into Harrowbrine because he blocks most of his pupils. So this might actually be an improvement, like a little serendipitous moment. You know what that word means? Look it up. Wow, that's kind of sick. Very cool way to kind of do a little sacrifice here. This gets me going. But what gets me going even more is what we're about to see. Take a look at this. It's a, it's a hanging spider. Now, my biggest fear is spiders. I see a spider, I scream like a girl. I run outside, I grab my salt gun. But in this case, I'm gonna be building one. Wow, that is actually really creepy. Look at that thing, bro. That's a massive butt. I can't get over it. It's gonna be the only time you ever hear the word fat spider badonkadonk in a sentence and hopefully the last time you hear that. So first things first, let's get our chain here. And then finally, we're gonna use some nether wart blocks oh it's it's crimson mycelium actually for the bottom piece that's what this is that kind of gives the spider a little bit more like visual appeal like the badonkadonk is clearly there and then you got like the body part of that it's really nice hop on here with another brick fence give them legs and then you're going to grab some vines all right my boy didn't tell me the command for a spider head uh so i'm just gonna go ahead and get a skeleton and put it on here and make it like a skeleton spider hybrid which to be honest should look even creepier three two one bam Oh god, I hate it. Nice that it's not- Oh no! Oh my god. That's a deep night dark terror creature. This is definitely getting scarier each time. I mean, this one is one of the most unbelievable disturbing things I've seen in my entire life. Alright, you know what else is horrifying? Uh, vampires and vampire coffins. So let's take a look at this thing right here. Oh, not the loom. Come on, man. I can't deal with the loom. Oh, it is good though. Low key, high key. Back key. Start off with some black concrete here. So we're gonna light those. Now you can't actually see the fire because I turned particles off because I hate them. Pretend it's there. 
Now we're gonna do the banners. There's no skull and crossbone banner. How do you do that? What I didn't realize is if you put a color dye in and then you override the color you just did, it kind of gives it this really subtle outline. That's actually kind of a cool little thing, huh? All right, that's close enough to exactly what he did, I think. So now, pop down the banner. Very cool. And then you can put some buttons on the side and give it like this real spooky like vampire, almost suck your blood type vibe. I think it is a little taller, actually. That said, it's a really cool build. It is creepy. Definitely up on that disturbing chart, for sure. All right, one of my favorite things is rib cages. And this guy's gonna show us how to create actual ribs. Oh, you're saying quartz looks like the skeleton's rib cage. And then that's like a little bit of like guts that come off the bottom when you cut it in half. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hang it right off of this tree. And then when I build this, I'm gonna turn it to nighttime. That way we can see what this actually looks like in like if you're gonna scare your friends. Guys, I do, I do have a concussion right now. So forgive me if I misplace things incorrectly every single time. But here we go. There we go. Okay. Now what this guy did to make it creepier is he went directly under it and put some redstone down. So that is like the build. Now imagine this. It's nighttime. It's super dark. You see like just a little bit of redstone. You're like, bro, what the heck is that? And then you slowly pan up and right in front of you to your horror is this crazy monster. I like it. This is kind of the thing when people see it and they go, yo, some crazy hermit lives here. I got to avoid it. Is there anything else you can do to creepify this? I I'm kind of wondering. Okay, hold on. This is how you would improve this and make it even scarier. You're walking and you see the candles and you look up and then you see it. The candles make it seem like a sacrifice pit. All right, that was good. That was good. Okay, this one I've never seen before. It's a jump scare painting. This sounds very cool to me. Oh, that's gonna be harder to build, like harder than normal, man. Now, many of you have seen my most popular video ever where I home invade someone's base. So I'm pretty good expert at making secret entrances like this. Now it's just the redstone. And so I'm a little bit worried. You know what? That's just stupid. You can't place it on ice. There has to be a way. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I am smart. Okay, well, for some reason he's facing that way and I feel like the head is the wrong way, but honestly, it doesn't even matter. We're gonna give him a dragon head. So it's gonna be extra creepy. Then I think we can just straight up put some pistons down. So I got it set up. Let's go ahead and give her a shot and see. Nope. Okay, didn't work. What I think I actually need to do here, guys, I'm gonna make one more change, and if I get it, I earn the subscription. I think if I do slime, this would be more likely to push it out. We'll make it a wither skull. It's okay that it faces the wrong way. Here we go. Oh, there it is, it works. The grandma plays, it's a great way to kill her. Now, one thing I love uh, is spiders. As you guys know, is a lie. Spiders terrify me. If I see one, I'll cry. This is a way to get one to crawl on your ceiling and just sit there. We're gonna do it our own way. We're going to still make the spider up there, but I think instead we're gonna use barriers and a spot for our little lovely spider. Let's try this out. Great. Now when the barrier is despawn, you're gonna have an upside down spider that's completely trapped in your roof. He just kind of sits there like a little creepy cave pet. Very creepy. 10 out of 10. All right, up next, we have some of the creepiest Minecraft statues ever. Are they gonna, what are they doing in the middle? Oh, cool. I think honestly, a Steve head's gonna look a little creepier to me because Wither Skulls doesn't feel as humanizing as this does. We're gonna build ours right here on top of this. That way we can like look at it from a distance and see how creepy it is. So down go your four creepy Steves. I'm pretty sure it's a respawn anchor. So hold on, I need to test this because does just one of these blow up? Okay, so you cannot even put one of these on. So I think you have to actually piston it down, which is my guess. God. Hey, if you're gonna build this one, I just gotta warn you, it's not easy. Okay, so you actually need these trap doors. And then he just uses one single glowstone, right? Not more than one, because then this goes on the, there you go, you shift click, and then you can place it. And that gives it this nice little like, I don't know, you're summoning like a nice little fresh demon out of the underworld, something like that kind of vibe. Okay, okay, finally pulled off the creepy little, whatever you wanna call this thing back here. So this one's really cool because if you're at a distance and you see like a little glow, you might be like, oh, someone's here. And then you see this and you know something weird's going on. And as you get closer, it gets even stranger. If you use all the builds you've seen today, I mean, you're going to be haunting people for years. All right, this one lets us play with light, like a creepy flickering light. Oh, this is really simple. Whoa, this is a really cool build, dude. So like, I would say this one would look really good inside some sort of cave. We'll do it here. So imagine you walk into a cave and you see this, like that's the vision I want you to have. All right, so we have a little bit of a redstone clock here. So let's get this set up and running. Now we could actually even delay the timer here a little bit so that these all turn on at different speeds. Well, then we could put one here and then another one right here. Now, if you were down here, you would have something like this at the roof, which is like really creepy. You have like that just creepy light flickering buzzing sound and like one of them doesn't work and it looks like it's broken. This is one of the greatest horror builds I've ever seen and it's so simple. So now that we've tested all these hacks, it's time to test the scariest one yet. I'm gonna create a single player world right now. I'm gonna call it 666. I'm going to set the seed as 666. So guys, the spawn for 666 is quite beautiful, to be honest with you. It does look very nice. But let's teleport to these coordinates. TP666. Nothing, I can't see anything. Wow, so the coordinates it takes us to are right inside of this cave right here, which is not that scary. So I'm gonna try one more here. We'll do 
666, 666, 666. We'll see what it gives us. I guess we have to fall now. Oh, we are, we are. Oh, look at this, no way. Right at those coordinates, an ocean monument. Wow, an ocean monument, this attack, like an actual battle is taking place here, like a literal war. Wow, that's actually one of the uh, luckiest things I feel like we could have found today, guys. Peace.